What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Dean Doyle commentary. Let's see if um, World RF Pro can get some redemption. He must have switched deck to Necros. No, he went to some Tyler Knights. All right. Clearly, the Shadow experiment didn't work. <laughs> I mean, he is confirmed to be the worst Shadow player on Earth, so guess he felt like a new deck, new change. All right, so um, he wrote it for Deneb. Uh, that's met with Mind Crush. Okay, so. But he could legitimately have other cards, maybe a. Uh, Soul Charge, um, Call of the Haunted. And Musty is probably still playing his Volcanics. Now, uh, in my experience, this has not been a good matchup for Sir Tower Knights. All right, so it looks like he has Vanity's Emptiness. The Altier train has been completely derailed. He is going to get some damage in. Now, and Musty didn't open with Volcanic Rocket, otherwise his hand would have been uh, much better. In fact, his entire setup may have been much better. If he can't get any monsters, though, he probably could easily lose this duel he really needs volcanic rocket and like nothing else at this point let's see he probably doesn't have it and i mean he knows his opponent's back row if his opponent has something like alpha nova i mean that's a hard card to counter so okay no way of getting around out here so far it's just gonna have to keep eating those 1700s it's not a big deal usually teller knights aren't exactly a beatdown deck they don't win many duels by beatdown this deck is based on effects. All right, so he sets one. Uh, man, that could be Volcanic Shell easily. Now, I don't think that this is a very good match for Teller Knights. That's just my opinion. I've played Volcanic Match a couple of times. Oh, hits Ice Hand. Oh, he actually got the Alpha Nova. Okay, so he'll draw a card. Vanity's Emptiness is gone, by the way. Card did go to the graveyard. Okay, goodbye vanities. Activates Oasis of the Dragon Souls. Oh, you know what? Nope, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, you don't draw because it activates in the graveyard. So you can't destroy something in the graveyard. But either way, uh, M. Musty was definitely not going to win that duel. Unless that other, I mean, once your opponent resolves a Oasis of the Dragon Souls, you know, you go plus two. It's just pretty much a wrap. <laughs> the hands in the main deck do present a problem for Teller Knights because you don't want to have to burn your Alpha Nova on that card. You're not going to draw and, you know, you want to save it for like, you want to save Alpha Nova, to be honest. You want to save it for Royal Guard because that's the card where not only do they waste their normal summon, but they waste their uh, potential. Like they not only do they not get the shells back or the scatter shots, but then it just really doesn't help them. Like, I mean, it really helps you. They don't draw any cards. You get rid of one of their best normal summons. You take their normal summon, probably their battle phase. Like, that is a snowball effect. So, I don't know if MST is going to go first or second again, but if he doesn't open with Rocket, just really bad. All right, we're going to game two. Unless he, unless he opens with, uh, you know, maybe like a Fire Hand, Ice Hand, type combo, uh, maybe a light imprisoning mirror. I don't know if I would feel confident throwing out, like I wouldn't feel comfortable throwing out a, um, an ice hand turn one against Teller Knights because, you know, somebody might just summon Uno and just randomly ram into it. All right. So he's going to let him summon. He goes for Uno. Okay. Could have been worse. It could have been Deneb. All right. So he is going to get Deneb in the graveyard. Looking at his extra deck. This is kind of a hard call if you're just going to instantly see. I really don't know what to go into. Uh, if you plan on attacking, um, Fire Hand is a thing. He's already showed you that, that he runs the hand. So, But again, it could be a total bluff. It could be Volcanic uh, Shell. And it's not a bluff. Looks like it is Fire Hand. Um, question is, is Unu going to die? Or All right, so Unu's dead. I mean, why not? Vega has a very low attack. You can just run Vega over with Ice Hand, to be honest. And it looks like uh, it must he's in the driver's seat now. Ooh, only one back row. That is not good. Anytime Teller Knights only have one back row, psh, they're in a very bad position. Uh, I think you just have to pretty much force the play. So he's going to normal. I'm shocked that he's committing more to the board. I just don't think I don't think it's necessary. All right, so Vegas dead. Unless that card is a call of the haunted and it resolves, he's in a rarely bad spot. Now, I mean, 
he probably wasn't going to be able to get anything good out of his Royal Guard. So, because you can send back Firehand, but I don't know. Maybe you just want to wait. Now, if he goes into the Lavalwood Chain, he could put Rocket on top of his deck. I would think that that would be the play here. All right, so he is going to activate the top effect. I just think this is kind of risky because if his opponent had bottomless trap hole and he was just waiting, he would he would literally I think he he'd pretty much pull even there. All right, so he's putting Rocket on top of the deck. That makes the most sense. I would say that um. World RF Pro definitely needs to kill that Lavalvo Chain. Just because if he doesn't, he will clearly be able to... Um, oh, Trap Stun. No Call of the Haunted. How shocking is it to see Trap Stun in Volcanics? I don't think I've ever seen that in my life. Alright, so this duel has pretty much been decided on who can play the best defense so far. Okay, Phoenix Chain on Vega. Will he have an MST, a Twister maybe? Nope. If he doesn't, that means he's pretty much guaranteed to lose Vega. He's going to be met with a rocket. And um, he'll probably dump Shaw in the graveyard. This duel could pretty much spiral out of control. I mean, this match seems like it's been determined by the first turn each time. Uh, despite the great mind crush by Musty in game one, his opponent <laughs> just happened to have Altier, which it made him commit the vanities. Otherwise, he just would get wrecked. And when he didn't have a follow-up play, it's like, all right, well, you're just going to lose to 1,700 beats at that point. And Teller Knights do have three Rota. It would be nothing to them to just top deck a Rota and get another Deneb. I'm expecting him to use the uh, the dump effect for Volcanic Shell. There it is. If only he could somehow bounce. I feel like every deck should just be able to bounce Phoenix Chain. I guess that's just that, that would just be dumb, though. All right, so he gets another copy of Shell. Give himself a couple of turns of reloads. See if he can draw some good cards. Goodbye, Vega. Now, if his opponent doesn't have... If World RF Pro doesn't have, like... um, I don't know, man. If he doesn't have, like, an Altier, I, I don't think... I just don't see how he's going to be able to run it back. If he has, like, a Regal in hand or something, that's just not going to get it done. Another Unu. Alright, so he's got Rhoda, so he pretty much has Altier. No, he's going for Deneb. Okay, that's kind of a slow play. Oh, okay, he's going to go for... Got it, he's going for the Vega play. But another Fiendish Chain, and that's a wrap. Alright, yeah, that wasn't going to work. His opponent wasn't going to be able to draw a card from Reload. He already had two beaters on board that could get over Altier. At that point, you just pretty much lose, especially if he has scatter shot. You're looking at taking direct damage 1500 on top of that. So, going into the decisive game three, I wouldn't be shocked if R if World RF Pro decided to go first because Volcanics are so reliant on their normal on their first normal summon. They're more reliant on their first normal summon than Teller Knights are, in my opinion, because the Teller Knight player. They can have their normal summon met with a solemn warning or something like that, and they can easily get by with the call of the haunteds or the oasises. All right, so has the max C clutch, and now RF Pro is in a, a position where he either leaves Vega on board as a pretty terrible monster, or he gives him cards. All right, no mind crush, so he's not going to give him any additional cards. Max C is still fantastic against Teller Knights. If you guys don't know, well, I'm going to assume you know. So he summons a monster that does not activate, pretty much saying, you're not going to Alpha Nova me. See if he can get over that Vega, and he does, no battle traps. That's crazy. Even if he didn't have a battle trap, I thought maybe he could have had a Ring of Destruction or a Book of Moon. Not battle traps, but they still get rid of the monsters. Okay, we know where this duel is going to be decided. It's going to be decided in the trenches. I like to think of, um, you know, the back rows as kind of like the lines and a... Uh, and football. All right, so he has the he has the what's it called? He has the Oasis play. There's the plus one. Could be potential Trevor time. If you have Mind Crush, I think you definitely have to burn it because you don't want to wait for your opponent to summon the Altier. You know, uh, obviously things like psh, Alpha Nova just become play there, unless it must. He's playing like Wiretap. Wiretap is actually really good against Tell Nice. You just how many other decks can you really side it against? Like, I don't even think it's that great against Cleefort. Because they flip over a Floodgate and 
you know, your wiretap is fucking useless at that point if they get it up early. Okay, so, whoa, looks like he's waiting for the effect. All right, so, oh, he's going to burn Torrential. I'm expecting an alpha no. Oh, he, he hit him with the wiretap. That was shocking. <laughs> Just as we were talking about wiretaps, RF Pro throws the wiretap out there. Now, I assume it's going to be Trevor time. That's just me. Mainly because that Royal Guard is useless if, if it goes to your opponent's hand. Now, I'm kind of surprised he used Unu. Because, I mean, if something happens to Trevor, you have a beater. But I guess he feels like, all right, well, I want to be able to bounce Altier. Because Altier is, you know, I want, I want him in my hand constantly. He's looking at a best case scenario, not a worst case scenario. There's the Fiendish Chain. And see, here's why I would have, I would have gotten, I would have used Altier because Unu would be able to attack. Now he has to clash. Clashing is not good. Now you would think, all right, the home run play is to bounce the Altier to your hand, but the thing is, you already had Oasis anyway. You already had a way of going plus stupidly. I think that he got greedy by trying to bounce the Altier. I think he should have tried to use the Unu because if Unu would have been able to run over, um, Royal Firestorm Guard, I think he would have been in a way better position here. He obviously didn't have Alpha Nova. Otherwise, he just would have won. But I don't know. I, I think that you had to look at what if the Trevor doesn't resolve? I may be in a position where I get bone. You know, I get bones. Both of these decks are probably playing three Phoenix Chains. So it's not really out of the realm of possibility that your opponent would have a Phoenix Chain for, you know, your Trevor. He still could go on the Diamond, which is honestly what. I may have done. But I guess if you go into Diamond, then... Oh, well, never mind. Trevor's back online now. Somewhat of a desperate play. Has to give up Phoenix Chain to draw two. Uh, he better he better hope for something good. Because, you know, leaving Trevor online means you can lose cards out of your hand. So if you drew a bunch of monsters, the shit just doesn't work. I mean, there has to be a really, really good follow-up. I don't know if Volcanics have good ways of just going and spinning monsters. Like, if they play Deep Prison, I guess, but you'd have to empty out your hand. Alright, so he has Fire Hand. I guess he's going to do it the old-fashioned way. Problem is, Trevor will trigger. Trevor will trigger. He'll get out to your... Oh, no, Fiendish Chain. There you go. Chains all around. Chains for everybody, basically. Now, it must be better find a way to dump his hands. Otherwise, Trevor's going to start attacking it. If he can dump, if he can set everything in his back row, then giving up the Phoenix Chain wasn't that big of a deal. He's not just going to, I doubt he would just attack over Fire Hand. Well, no, actually, I would. Because if you, if you killed my Trevor with Fire Hand, then I would just get Altier and I would get Deneb and just start plussing. I wouldn't care. Oh, he's going to activate Trap Stun. Okay. So it's going to get real. He's going to ram into Trevor. That trap stun was not as good as the first one, though, just being honest. They're both going to get some monster effects. All right. I'm expecting Altier, then Deneb. He gets an ice hand. The question is, do you summon the... What's it called? He's asking if what if it misses timing. Ooh, I don't think it would miss timing. Whoa, what misses timing? Yeah, d dude, Trevor can't miss timing. Trevor's an if effect. <laughs> what are you talking about? Miss timing? No. Whoa. Let me, hold on. Let me, I got my deck box right here. Let me, let me pull out my Trevor. I believe Trevor is an if effect. If Trevor's not an if effect, then I am, I am on, what's it called? Let me just read Trevor right quick. Uh, Trevor might, I, I think Trevor is an if effect. If this card with Exceed Materials is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Teller Knight monster in your graveyard special summon it. Trevor cannot miss timing. Put down that crack pipe, son. <laughs> like, whoa there. Teller Knights can't miss timing. So, I think that he thought that Trevor would miss timing. Um, I don't think that that's going to happen. Regardless of if you're the turn player or not. Because it's an if effect. If effects can't miss timing. To my knowledge. If they can, then obviously you guys can tell me otherwise. <laughs> we may get a quick admin call here. 
just to confirm. But um, if he if his idea was that uh, the Trevor was going to miss timing and that's how he was going to get rid of it, then okay. I mean, I guess that was a legitimate plan. I just don't think that it's one that works. It definitely had materials on it, so the condition was met. It definitely died, definitely went to the graveyard. All the conditions were met for Trevor to be able to summon something. <clears throat> Let's see what's going to happen here. Not exactly sure what RF... I mean, I imagine he's reading Trevor. He has another one in his extra deck, I would assume. Uh, just about every Teller Knight player, especially if you're playing pure Teller Knights, runs two Trevors. But um, just based on the fact that it's an if... I don't believe that it would miss timing. You know, um, like the hands actually aren't ifs. So they can miss timing with like a volcanic scatter shot, something like that. Can what's it called? Yeah, neither one is going to miss timing. I don't understand why he believed that it would, but he's wrong. So that just is what it is. All right, there's the Altier. He's bringing it out in defense mode. There's the Deneb. He'll obviously search another out here. Now, my question was going to be, was he going to bring out the um, the out here in defense mode? Because, you know, he would let it die, essentially. If he brought out the out here in attack mode, then he could just constantly ram and he would lose possibly his whole field, I guess. Whoa, switching the game up. He's got a uh, scepter. Okay. Uh-oh, it's about to get derby. He's going to chain that sovereignty, and this is going to be probably, well, he won't go into Deltros, I don't think. He wants to get rid of uh, the Ice Hand. He'll probably go into, like, a Bistweller or something like that. So he gets his draw one, gets a draw two. He's going to activate Reload. Uh, uh-oh, he better hope that he doesn't have scatter shot. He literally could fuck his field up seriously. It wouldn't be that terrible if you're RF Pro, you have drawn a lot of cards. Oh, there's the scatter shot. Okay. And it just got really bad as he lost his entire field. And that Altier is still stuck in his hand. He'll get burnt for 1,500. Now, he still has too many life points to get gamed here. It's just not going to happen. Especially if he has, like, a call to Haunted or something. Okay. So, he'll draw a card. I mean, I don't really know what the follow-up play is, though. You still have an Altier to worry about. He has a Magic Planter. That looks like a good card to burn. A Fiendish Chain. That's a way of stopping out to here. And a Thunder King Ryo. That would stop the searching. But it would not stop... Uh, well, I guess your opponent could still exceed, but you could launch the Ryo. Those are three really good cards here. I mean... Alright, so he's taking Magic Planter. He's taking the draw power. I'm not going to lie. I would probably struggle with that decision there. Because a Thunder King Ryo possibly gets some damage in... I guess it depends on your hand. All right, but he's going for the home run. He's looking for cards. All right. He'll draw two. Now, I believe he does have five in his graveyard. So, if he gets Royal Firestorm guards, I think it's live. The car the problem is you could you could potentially just draw garbage. And your opponent's at 6,000 life points. You're not killing them anytime soon. Even with the fire area, even having a hand monster. That was crazy. He just had that scatter shot. And he just literally nuked his entire board. The overextension was real. All right, so he's using scatter shot, or excuse me, he's using what's it called? He's gonna use a reload to send shell to the graveyard. He's gonna add a shell by giving up 500 light points. I mean, both players are at a pretty high. Like they both have a lot of life points. This duel is gonna be decided by advantage. Easy. <clears throat> okay. I'm like, why, why are you sending to the graveyard? I thought Shell added to the hand. What's the game plan here? Maybe he drew another copy of Reload, which would kind of be awful. I mean, I, I guess. Oh, he has the Mind Crush. Altier's done. You, As long as that's not a call to Haunted, I think he's okay. If that's a call to Haunted slash Oasis, oh my god, if he Trevors, it would be plus like 50. He'd get his fiendish chain. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Fuck that noise, right? Your opponent, you you mind question out here, and then your opponent just wrote us for another one. Maybe he has a vanities. Oh, a solemn warning 
on the normal summon, which means he cannot alpha nova. He cannot alpha nova as long as you do it on the normal summon. Let's see if he has the counter. Let's see if he has the call to haunted. He doesn't. He goes to end phase. And going for those two cards really paid off because he got two legitimate cards. Wow. I thought maybe Magic Planner was going. I thought it was swinging for the fences. But he got two cards that actually worked out. Now the, the, the ball is pretty much back in M. Musty's hand. All right. So he has another hand. Fire hand not as good right now because uh, his opponent doesn't have any monsters. But he could do a lot of damage regardless. And he can go for Digustal Emerald. It just... How much are you willing to risk on this? That Gusto Emerald is live. He could easily spin back, uh, could easily spin back his scatter shots, draw a card. Ooh, has a Deneb. Not a good, I mean, Deneb's good, don't get me wrong, but it, it takes, a, it takes some time. Now here's what I think. I think it must he has a hand trap in his hand. I think him leaving two cards in his hand, either he's flooded with monsters or he has a maxi in his hand. I don't think that he's just leaving cards in his hand randomly. If he has defensive cards, he's playing them. He's going to blind MST. That's game. That is game. All he has to do is simply run over the Neb, attack with uh, Ice Hand, and just go into Cowboy if necessary. I think, yeah, he would actually have 100 life points after the, the battle phase, and then he'd be able to go into Cowboy. Excellent duel there. A couple of uh, mistakes, obviously, thinking that Trevor would miss timing. I had to bust out the Trevor of my um, in real life, but uh, definitely a good duel there. Thank you guys for watching, as always.